Hi, my name is Jason with Cirque Rentals, and I'd like to share with you a little bit about our kids and junior bags. Uh, we use Big Agnes Systems bags. Um, system bag just means that it's intended to be used with a sleeping pad. Uh, the sleeping bag itself does not have as much insulation on the bottom of the bag. It's relying on a really nice sleeping pad to do that. Uh, and we pair these uh, with a Big Agnes um, 20 inch wide, uh, three or four inch thick uh, inflatable air mattress. Um, so these are great bags for kids uh, anywhere from really that age four. Some kids as, as young as three can fit into these bags um, all the way up to junior and in some cases teen um, uh, youth uh, can fit into these bags, uh, which are great. Um, over here we have uh, the Wolverine 15 degree uh, bag by Big Agnes and this is intended to be our uh, younger um, or a kind of junior size bag. This bag will go all the way up to uh, five uh, feet in length uh, for someone who's inside the bag. So uh, a little bit less on age, more on, on kind of the length uh, of, of your child. Um, and down to 15 degrees. Uh, both of these bags are synthetic. Um, they use a Firelight um, kind of uh, synthetic insulation core, uh, which is great for kids. You don't necessarily want down with kids because oftentimes they get the bags wet if it's raining outside. Uh, they might be playing really hard and spill milk or spill water on the bag. Uh, and synthetic is nice because it maintains its insulation properties when it is wet. Uh, if you're using a down uh, sleeping bag with kids, you run the risk of if that bag gets wet, it doesn't insulate nearly as well, and so they're more likely to get cold. Um, I also like the 15 degree all around because if it's warm out, you can just unzip it and use it as a blanket or a quilt. Um, but when you do have those temperatures drop, uh, you can make sure that your kids are nice and warm and cozy and, and safe in a bag like this, uh, which is great. So this is a Big Agnes Wolverine 15, uh, more for kind of kids in that range of, of maybe four years up to uh, five feet in height. Uh, and then we have the Duster 15 uh, sleeping bag over here. Uh, and this is a great bag. We love having this in our rental fleet um, because it's highly adjustable. Uh, it works for a wide range of ages uh, and also a wide range of sizes. And what's cool about this bag is you can customize it on site. And so if you're not sure uh, kind of how your child's gonna fit into a bag, uh, this one is great. Um, this is our, it can be our smallest youth sleeping bag. So, you know, down to that three year old, four year old uh, range. Um, all the way up to five and a half feet, uh, five foot six uh, is the, the height rating on this. So this can go all the way up to um, kind of your upper teens um, for your kids. It's also a great bag if you want to buy a bag and not have to replace it every couple years. We highly recommend the duster uh, for that. And I'll demonstrate how it works here um, for you as well. So on the duster, uh, you have these hooks on both the top uh, and the sides of the bag, um, which is really cool. And that allows you to change the length of the bag. So you can roll it up. If your child's a little bit shorter, maybe in that three to four uh, year old range, uh, you can really shorten the bag down. And that eliminates all that extra air space in the bag. Um, so your child's not gonna get as cold because they don't have to heat up or or insulate as much of the bag. And so that's really why you want to be able to shorten the bag uh, like this. Uh, you have multiple steps about every six inches. So, you know, kind of every six inches of growth, you can change the bag. If you have several kids using the bag in your family, uh, you can adjust the bag based on, on the height of that child. Uh, and then on the side, you also have width adjustments here. And so uh, when your children are a little bit smaller uh, on both sides of the bag, you can cinch that down with these little hooks. If they're a little bit older, or maybe they want a wider bag, they move around a lot, you can open that up uh, and give them a little bit more room in the, in the sleeping bag. Uh, but again, if it's getting colder out, you don't want that extra airspace in the bag. And so if they are smaller or younger, you can go around the edges and cinch that down and it just compresses the bag a little bit on the inside without removing any insulation, um, but gives them less space uh, to warm up. So. This is a great bag, it's Big Agnes, uh, their Duster 15 degree bag. Again, it is synthetic insulation, so it's great if, if you happen to get it wet, uh, it'll still stay warm. Uh, you have a pillow sleeve on the inside of the bag, which is really nice, drawstring around the top, um, so you can really keep them warm uh, in the bag. And I'll demonstrate the sleeping pads here in a moment, kind of show you the different sizes that you can go with on your sleeping pad um, for these bags. 
Uh, all of the Big Agnes uh, youth sleeping bags that we have uh, use a 20 inch wide sleeping mattress, um, but you can change the length based on uh, your child or the, the um, bag or the pad that you have with you. So we've got our uh, Big Agnes Duster 15 kids bag here. I'm gonna show you how to pair it with the correct sleeping pad. Uh, and then also kind of how to adjust the length of the, the sleeping bag itself to make it a little bit shorter uh, for your younger kids that are using a bag like this. Uh, as we mentioned before, it's a system bag, which means that there's uh, really little or no insulation in the back or bottom of the sleeping bag itself. Uh, up here in the top section, you can see sort of where it's no, no longer red. There's really no insulation there and that saves weight, it saves, saves space. Uh, when you're sleeping on the sleeping bag, uh, that compresses the insulation or the down in that region anyway. So you don't get a lot of insulation out of it. You're really relying on your sleeping pad for that extra insulation there. Uh, and so these bags are just designed that way. And they have this sleeve in the sleeping bag itself, uh, which allows you to slide your pad in there. And then you don't have to worry about sliding off of your sleeping pad. And that's great for kids because uh, I know my, my child never stops moving at night, and so you can expect them to stay on the sleeping pad for about 10 minutes, and then the sleeping pads go in one direction, they're going the other direction, and uh, they wind up getting cold at night because they're no longer sleeping on an insulated sleeping pad. So even if you don't have a system bag, I recommend some kind of system, whether it's a strap or a, a sleeve on your sleeping bag to hold that pad in place. Uh, and this keeps it so that your child will stay on their sleeping pad all night. This particular bag has a, a little ribbon here on the end because it's adjustable. Um, so you can use it with a shorter sleeping pad like this. This is a 48 inch long sleeping pad. It's Big Agnes's short version. Um, but you can go up to then a 66 inch in length and then a 72 inch in length uh, as your child grows and gets taller uh, on this bag. And this ribbon will adjust with that length. So you can change the pad size um, that you use with it over time, uh, which is greater if you have multiple kids using the same group of bags like we do with rentals. That's a really nice feature to have. And so as you can see here, once your um, sleeping bag is on the pad, it's really not going anywhere. It's stuck on that pad. They can roll around in their sleeping bag as much as they want, uh, but they're gonna stay on that sleeping pad, which is really nice. And so as far as adjusting the duster here, as I mentioned before, you have these hooks every six inches on the top section, and then you have little loops uh, on the back, which you can use to adjust that length down. So you just compress the bag, kind of roll it up as you get it into place, and then hook those loops onto these hooks on the front. And now the sleeping bag itself is shorter, uh, so you're not having to worry about your child warming up all the extra space in the sleeping bag. You know, if, if they're four years old, three years old or so, um, this might be a great length for them. Um, and that's why this bag is so versatile. Um, you could really buy one sleeping bag from, you know, three, four years old all the way up into their teenage years. Um, and with the 15 degree rating, really use this, you know, three, almost four months or four seasons of the year uh, and really almost all of your backpacking or car camping conditions, which is great. Uh, and then, as I think I mentioned before, this bag also allows for adjustment on the side. So uh, if you do have a younger, smaller uh, camper all the way up to the top section here, you can change the width and thickness of the bag again so that you can reduce some of the volume. Uh, air space in the bag and your child doesn't have to warm up all that extra space uh, and then as they get bigger or if they want a little bit extra comfort um, you can release those hooks uh, in all areas you know maybe you want the shoulders to be a little bit wider but you want to keep it smaller towards their feet um, so you can do that and kind of every six inches or so you have another one of these hook and loop closures uh, where you can cinch that width down in addition to the length of the bag. Um, so we really like this bag. It's great as a rental bag for our fleet um, because we have so many different uh, kids with different sizes uh, using the bags. Uh, and then uh, it's great if it's a bag you want to purchase because it will last a really long time and it's very customizable. So it's one of, I think, the best designed kids bags on the market. 
We really like it, um, and we think you'll really like it too. As far as the rental bags, uh, every bag that we send out uh, is cleaned and laundered and sanitized with every use. Uh, and we send liners out with each of our bags too, a uh, cotton liner, um, so that uh, customers can use a fresh laundered um, liner in addition to a, a fresh laundered sleeping bag. So uh, essentially they're, they're as clean as, as uh, they would be new uh, and they're coming to you, you know, just like uh, staying in a hotel bed, um, you know, clean linens, clean everything, um, which uh, is a great system for us. So a little bit more about the Duster 15 uh, degree bag. Um, we'll show you the different lengths of sleeping pads that we have available and we'll show this bag with those different lengths as well. So you can kind of see uh, it with the 48 inch, this one's a short, uh, and then Big Agnes has the Petite, which is a 66 inch uh, length bag, uh, all the way up to the regular size, which is a 72 by 20. Now I'll show you putting the junior bags into the compression stuff sack. This is the large size, uh, which I believe is 19 or 20 liters, something like that. <clears throat> This works great with junior bags and some of our larger, like zero degree sleeping bags. Because these junior bags are 15 degree, they're pretty thick. They have a lot of insulation, so you need a little bit larger stuff sack for them. have it and then of course cinch up your compression sack. So you can see kind of how that looks non-compressed and then if you go ahead and compress that synthetic fill bag down. You can see that that now takes up a lot less space in your vehicle or in your backpack. Uh, when you're packing with your kids. Um, so we definitely recommend adding the compression sack if you're gonna be doing any kind of backpacking or you just wanna keep a more compressed uh, load on your sleeping bags. And that is the Sea to Summit, that's the size large, uh, which we find works the best for the 15 degree and zero degree bags uh, in our fleet.